Oh God, I really don't know why I'm making this right now, but here I go. I don't really do political commentary or anything of that nature, so God strike me down. Strike me down dead right now. Make a lot of money if you're dead inside. <laughs> Sarcastic song. Example one. Okay, so there's been a lot of talk about the coronavirus, the human coronavirus. Uh, the topic that brings us all here today in this lovely green room where I have painted a tree on the wall. Thank you and welcome to my channel. My name is Serafina Delirium, your favorite crazy person. <laughs> I am joking. I know that you're here on my channel because you love me and you want to like this video and subscribe to this channel because I'm awesome. Uh, that's a joke, but it's also serious. Um, anyway, my mom and I were just having a discussion and so I'm going to try to stay on this topic. Um, so, I just hope that this doesn't make people angry there, and I won't delve into the personal issues or my opinions too much. Would you stop, cat? What's your issue? Um, okay, here I go. Every year, we end up fear-mongering on TV, and I, for one, am sick of it. Or maybe not every year, maybe every five years. No, no, it's pretty much every year. Avian flu, um, coronavirus, the flu, the regular flu. You guys can think of more, I'm sure, right? I don't want to talk about them because they literally make me sick to my stomach. I'm just tired of hearing about it. But this time I'm genuinely frightened. Um, that's probably, I'm right where they want me. Um, I'm frightened because I don't have any control over where my other children are. Um, but on, on another note, where, where am I getting at? Okay, so I think it's interesting how on top of the world people are they're like superman with the wind in his back we think as human beings usually in america we think we're invincible we can do whatever we want we can go wherever we want let's go traveling let's go to bermuda and just disappear right that's a joke and and we'll go to calcutta and and go for a cruise and then we come back and we get everybody sick because we're just untouchable we're invincible um Nothing's gonna happen to me, right? And and it's funny, it's ironic because I never go anywhere. I never get to do anything. I, I can't even go be on The Voice because I don't have enough money to go. Which is why I make these cheap ass YouTube videos um, with my life. I spend my time at home with my son. I, I'm lucky if I get to go to the grocery store, you know, and Next week, pretty much the only thing I get to do is I'm going to the doctor to see if I can refill my acyclovir medication. It's for my immune system um, because I got herpes from a sexual assault in 2014. That's a fun fact about me. You didn't know. Um, so I'm trying to pick that up. And I just think and that's, that's just something that people are just so entitled. So... So they're just making everybody sick, but that's in general. And then, you know, you have people that are just so... <sighs> What's the word? I'm sick. Hypochondriacs. That's a fun one. Hypochondriacs. There's the fear-mongering, and then there's the hypochondriac people who think, <laughs> I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm gonna die. And I get so tired of hearing about these fucking... Always sick people. They think they're sick and they're gonna die and they're gonna get everybody sick. Like, if you're gonna go die, go do it already and stop getting the rest of us, you know. <sighs> Me, if I'm, if I'm genuinely sick, I don't complain about it. I go, I go to work anyway. I, I went to work sick as a dog and I, I lost my voice and I had a note up there that, that said I was sick and I couldn't talk and my boss made fun of me, you know. It was like, to that point, but... Oh my god, I, I don't even go to the doctor half the time. But anyways, so I just think 
to me, okay, another topic, another topic. Let's, let's go off, let's stop ranting and raving like I do when I get mad. Because that's why I don't like talking politics, because I get off on these tangents. Tangents. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate the internet. I'm ranting. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Jesus. Someone's gonna hate this. <laughs> so. <clears throat> Last topic before I cut this off. And I might just delete it. I don't know. Last topic. Because like I said, I'm genuinely scared. Which I said is probably right where they want us. I should be talking about parental alienation. Which is a more deeply personal issue to me. And here I am ranting about the fucking coronavirus. Which is stupid. I mean, you hear, you hear all that bullshit on the news as it is. I mean, it's taken up the entire, uh, my entire YouTube feed. Hi, I'll be right there in a minute, I promise. I'm sorry. But, this is important, because I just, I just think someone out there, this might mean something to somebody out there, and I'm not going to say the personal things, because of reasons, but I'm just going to say this. There is a debate going on to this day, it's been going on for as long as I can remember, as long as, I mean, I, I, I found out about this, this debate when I was 16, and it became an issue in my life, and I started fighting for it. Um, I am on, on the side, I am on a side. I'm not going to tell you which side I'm on. I do believe in the freedom of choice. That you choose. As a parent. I choose whether or not to vaccinate my children. Not the government. Not the doctor. That is my choice. It's not a matter of anything else. It is simply... My decision as a parent, so that when my child comes of age, he or she can choose if it's their body. Now, that weighs in as part of three out of four of my children are boys. There were three out of four of my children are not circumcised. Because when they come of age, it is their penis. Yes, I said penis. Woo, I said penis. It is their penis, therefore they can choose whether or not they want to be circumcised. It's their body. If I were to touch their body without their consent, that is sexual assault. Okay? Fact. Alright. So, we got on to the fact of immunizations. I know, I know what you're thinking. I have a point. I have a point. Listen. Just listen. Don't cut the video off. Alright. <laughs> That's a joke. Alright. So, we go into the coronavirus, right? Millions and trillions of people are talking about the coronavirus. Millions and trillions of people are immunized. We're also having this major debate about immunizations. I just think it's interesting that with this, whether or not you have your shots in your system, the fact of the matter is there is no immunization for coronavirus. None. There's no cure. So whether or not, whatever side you're on for shots, immunizations, whatever you call them, everybody just needs to sit down, shut up, stop fighting about shots and, and how you feel and, and what is that, I don't even remember what it's called, and ew. selective, you know, when people say, oh, you didn't get your kids shots, and they're putting each other down and saying, well, that's what you get, and they make jokes about people dying because they didn't give their kids shots, and if I don't give my kids shots, and my kid's gonna die, and they're just making fun of each other, stop making fun of each other. Get along, for Christ's sake. These are, you're making jokes about a baby dying because they didn't get shots. What the hell is wrong with you? We could all die. If we could all get sick and die from coronavirus, what does that tell you about the world? 
and everybody's freaking out and panicking. If you really think that this epidemic, pandemic, is a threat, if people are freaking out thinking that this could be the end times, like they always do with the avian flu or whatever other illnesses there are that they do this every single year, then why are we being so hateful to each other? I just think with all of the other diseases that there are that they have, that's two different topics right there, isn't it? Okay, let me back up a little bit. I just think that it's ironic, irony, true irony, it's ironic to me that with the fighting and the bashing and this this giant feud over immunizations that's gone on so long. And like I said, I'm not telling you which side I'm on. <sighs> that we could all die from coronavirus. In the end, we could all die, period. From one day to the next, you don't know what's gonna happen. I could wake up tomorrow and a truck could come and hit my house and kill me. Or you, any of us. It, has anybody ever heard of this thing called the chaos theory? I mean, we all need to start being grateful for what we have now and stop taking everything for granted. I try to live my life being grateful for everything that I have, for the children that I have, whether I see them or not. I'm alienated from three of my children every single day. I don't know whether they know that I love them or not, whether they know that I've abandoned them or not. If they were to get sick from cancer, nobody would tell me. Nobody would tell me jack shit because they don't even give me school records, even though they're supposed to legally. There's a court order that they're supposed to give me school and medical records, but they don't. No one tells me anything. They're ordered to let me see them every single week for three hours, twice a week, but they don't. If they were to get this coronavirus and die, no one would tell me. If they were to get cancer and be in chemo or a coma, no one would tell me. <clears throat> but we have to think. You know, be grateful for what you have now and stop complaining. Stop being a freaking bystander in your own life. Stop being a freaking hypochondriac and flipping out about stupid things. <sighs> my kid is crying. I need to go take care of him. I need to go take care of my kid. He probably is messing with the cat and the cat scratched him because he likes to mess with the cats. So I gotta go. Have a nice day, guys.